Welcome Capricorns and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 14th of November through to Sunday the 20th of November 2022. On the left hand side will be your crowning message card and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the week ahead. Oh, straight away. Okay, Vulture, nothing is wasted. Okay, let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Thank you. And, oh, wow. Turtle spirit and cow spirit. Slow and steady wins the race. The miracles are endless. Okay, so Capricorns, for those of you that I am connecting with, um... I feel with your main card, you're being guided um, to push on forward, okay? Uh, take a leap of faith um, because for many of you, you will achieve whatever it is you are setting yourself to achieve. Um, I'm also picking up with this card, many of you, um, you're being guided to dream big. Take a leap of faith. OK, what you have achieved, you may not um, you may not be giving too much kudos to it, but you've actually achieved quite a lot. And I feel that you're being guided to continue moving forward spiritually. OK, but also in your quest for love, for truth, for self, for your life purpose, and you're being guided to dream big. If you have gone through um, uh, some tough experiences or um, a tough time in love, I feel with Vulture Spirit, you're being guided that nothing was wasted. You may not see that now, um, but you are being guided that you can bring that wisdom, that learning from that experience. Um, if you're going through that now or you've been through it recently and you can break through, you can take that leap of faith and move forward. You've achieved something that many of you may not realise the miracles that are endless. OK, um, for many of you, uh, I also feel that you're being guided with turtle spirit, slow and steady wins the race. Um, it feels as if um, it feels as if let do you know what I am picking up uh, Capricorns? If you had a, a particular dream or an aspiration about a relationship or about another aspect in your life and it didn't work out, you're being guided that actually you achieved more than you realise. Whether or not you uh, identified something within yourself or whether or not you identified um, a different path, um, a different path in work, love, uh, life path, spiritual path, yeah? It wasn't wasted whatever experience that you had, but I feel now what you're being guided to do, slow and steady wins the race, is to almost take some time to reflect. Go sit under the stars or go connect with nature and reconnect with self. OK, to slow down, to recalibrate um, so that you can take a leap of faith with a new dream, a new imagination of what it is you want for yourself in life, in love, in spiritual awakening, because whatever you experience, it wasn't wasted it really, really was not wasted, but you may need to slow down to recalibrate, to reflect. Many of you, it's almost as if whatever it is that this vulture spirit is saying that nothing was wasted, it feels as if it was not a very good experience, okay? You're being guided to... Um, whatever imprint it left on you, you are now misusing your imagination of what it is you are dreaming, hoping, aspiring for yourself. And I feel that as you slow down and reflect and 
write a different dream, imagine a different dream, take some time to reflect, connect with yourself and dream a different dream of what you're telling yourself at the moment. It's almost as if you're being guided that there's a big, massive wake up call, a breakthrough, whatever it is that wasn't wasted, you've achieved something and it feels as if many of you haven't, you haven't cottoned on to that yet, but divine has, your higher self has, and it almost feels as if they've got more faith in you than you have in yourself, then what I'm being given is like, you're a badass. You're like, you're a badass. You can really um, manifest um, uh, and imagine the dream and aspiration for you, what, what you want for yourself. Um, you just have to have faith in yourself to dream it, to continue taking that leap forward because you will achieve it, okay? For many of you, um, you're being guided to set some boundaries around any low vibrational energy that whatever vulture spirit brought um, and is telling you, look, look, nothing was wasted. Yeah, it might have been a little bit ugly. Yeah, it might have um, really hampered the dream or the future that you wanted with somebody or an aspect in your life, but it wasn't wasted. It doesn't stop you from imagining and dreaming big. And if you can do that, this is where cow spirit comes in. The miracles are endless, abundant. Many of you, there's a lot of growth that you have um, achieved. Yeah, you've achieved a lot of growth, but you may not be seeing it. So it feels as if you're being guided to put some boundaries around any kind of negative thinking or low vibrational thinking re like take that frown and turn it upside down is what they're telling me because you are a badass okay spirit divine uh universe your higher self it feels as if they have more faith in you than you have in yourself right now and it's like you're just being guided to take that leap forward because many of you will um You've achieved something and you have so much more to achieve, all right? Um, for those of you um, that are, yeah, look at this, magnetism of Eros. For those of you that um, are, like, are resonating with this message with regards to actually a love connection, your crowning wisdom message, um, it almost feels as if there are two, um, two souls this does remind me a little bit of Gemini a little bit. Um, uh, many of you, either there is, as you dream bigger, okay, as you um, uh, almost, maybe some of you feel that you've been going round and around in a spiral, a cycle, okay, you've achieved so much more. And the thing with cycles um, and the things with the repeating, the reason why things and patterns repeat in our lives is because um, you've not learned from the previous experience. The good news is nothing was wasted. Nothing was wasted because every time you repeat a cycle, you have gained more knowledge, you have gained more wisdom, and you can deal with the situation in a different way. For many of you, there may be somebody that is around you. This looks like a divine feminine and a divine feminine masculine energy, whether within you. It's almost as if, it almost looks as if there is something drawing you um, to a new beginning um, or somebody um, is coming in or whoever you are connected with. There is a magnetism between the two of you. It's almost as if if you've gone through a bit of a rocky time, I'm picking up with magnetism of Eros is that this person wants to come in and speak their truth. They want a new beginning. Maybe they've gone through a bit of a healing process, but this person is solid, grounded. They are very drawn to you. It might even be a twin flame. Let me just grab this card and read for you. That's what I was picking up. And it's interesting that it's coming in as a number one. 
okay? And your card is number 10, which breaks down to a number one. One is all about a new beginning. It's all about stepping forward and um, having a new start, a new beginning. It's starting from one again, moving from zero, stepping forward and trusting. You may not know, you know, it's unknown to you, but it's almost like have faith to step forward. So magnetism of Eros, it says trust in what your heart yearns for without concern about how it will manifest. That is about what I was channeling. Um, whatever you're imagining, dreaming, um, put some boundaries around any negativity of a past experience or an aspect in your life that didn't go the way that you want it. Change up the dream and the imagination because you can dream bigger. You can achieve more. Don't give up. All right. It says take steps towards that which moves your heart. Reach out for what your soul wants and needs. Allow yourself to be vulnerable for only then you can be truly held. That which appears out of reach or unavailable to you is closer than you realize absolutely like i said divine spirit universe your higher self what i was picking up was they're saying to me you're a badass divine spirit universe your higher self has more faith in you that you can leap forward and dream bigger um whatever it is that you have gone through it's done it's finished um move on um it it, it feels as if you're being guided to walk with faith take a leap of faith you will achieve more you gained a lot more than you realized okay and the miracles are endless of whatever it is you are dreaming uh, wishing for imagining for yourself um if you can change it up and imagine bigger it dream bigger um it's it's coming towards you it's closer to you than you realize and it feels as if you're being guided to just connect with your heart space connect with self all right you are definitely embarking on a new beginning, Capricorns, um, whether or not it's a, a different aspect in your life, okay? A spiritual awakening, um, a, a, a new career path, a project. Um, it could be a new beginning in a whole new uh, love coming in that is magnetic, that is going to, you know, you're going to connect with that person and it's just going to hit your heart space like instantly. <gasps> excuse me, instantly, but it also could be a renewal of um, um, an existing relationship. It's stepping up into a new direction. Whoever you are connecting with, if you're in a relationship, I am picking up that this person does want to, wants a new beginning. They want to speak their truth. They are solid. They are grounded, um, a bit slow to come forward, but they can't ignore this magnetism um, between the two of you. Yeah, it feels as if they don't want to let you go. All right. All right, Capricorns, if this message is resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to push this video out to other Capricorns. It also enables you to get those notifications when I'm uploading new messages. And of course, it does help to support the channel. So I thank you in advance for your support and encouragement. Existing subscribers, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for all of your support encouragement and donations it's really appreciated and i really do hope that you all get something useful and meaningful out of this week's reading let's get into your main love message my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me how does these soulmates of capricorn sun moon rising and venus feel towards them in love week commencing monday the 14th of november through to Sunday the 20th of November 20, 2022, what is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Capricorn that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me, thank you. All right, let's see what's going on with you and love specifically Capricorns. Okay, my angels, thank you. 
Wow, okay, so whoever you are connecting with, whether you know this person or it's an existing relationship, they certainly want to celebrate this connection. They want to get to know you. They want to be around you. Um, but they're nervous. They're nervous coming forward. And I and I saw, saw that. Uh, I feel that many of you, if you have come out of a, a relationship, um, there is somebody around you that is quite magnetic. Um, there's some there's a magnetic magnet ma magnetism between the two of you but you may not be seeing it because at the moment your imagination your thinking with regards to love is a bit poo poo at the moment because you may have just come out of something it wasn't wasted but you're being guided to um almost come out of um, kind of negative thinking and that is that boundary that I feel that you're being guided to put around yourself put some boundaries around your shadow self yeah with the queen of swords um, either you either this person said something quite um, this feels like a past connection. Uh, the Queen of Swords, I feel that it's your energy, um, Capricorns. Um, either you have cut somebody out recently, okay? You're being guided to open your heart um, to somebody new coming in. Um, if you are in an existing relationship already, many of you, there may have been something um, that you want to say or you're thinking about cutting out this person or you want to speak your truth, okay? I feel that you're being guided to be open to a different way of thinking, okay? Because whoever you are connecting with, whether they are in a relationship with you or they are around you, they definitely want to get to know you. All right. They may also see you as somebody that is quite um, straight cut, quite blunt, quite straight to the point. Uh, I feel that they do like that about you. But right now, because your headspace is either basically not where it should be. Yeah. Um, it feels as if you're in this kind of low vibrational energy, um, refusing to dream, to to think big, to um, many of you, you might have even cut out the prospect of loving your life. You're being guided to readdress that. The King of Cups, yeah. I feel that whoever you are connecting with, male or female, um, okay, I'm reading this two ways. Whoever this person is, they are coming up as the King of Cups. So if you know them, I feel that you're thinking about them and they want to come towards you with love. The second way that I'm reading it is that um, this Queen of Swords and King of Cups may be your energy. Uh, you may be turning your back on love. Cutting out love. You're being guided to open yourself to that, to open back up to your heart space and your love and, and love, love for self, love for love, if that makes sense. Yeah. But if this is a person that you already know, I feel that you're thinking about them quite a lot. And I feel that they do want to come towards you with love. They definitely want to get to know you. All right, but there's something that's got them a little bit unbalanced, a little bit anxious, a little bit nervous. Thank you. And then, yeah, look at that, the hermit. You're being guided um, to make wise choices right now. OK, seek guidance. Um, I feel that divine spirit universe is shining a light towards this person, shining a light on you right now. If you have turned your back on love, um, shining a light on this person, if they um, there is somebody around you that loves you and you may not be seeing it right now because for whatever reason you have cut out this person or you have cut out the prospect of love you're being guided to open yourself back up make wise choices okay when it comes to this person or when it comes to you and your concept or what you're dreaming and thinking about love in general 
okay you also could be dealing with a virgo or you could have virgo in your chart let's clarify my angels and spirit guides of the divine thank you yeah whoever you are connecting with with the five of swords um this person isn't the greatest of communicators it's actually quite a bit of a battlefield for them um notice the uh three swords hanging on their belt this person has gone through some heartache whether you are with this person or or um, it is somebody completely new. And that is one of the reasons why they're feeling a little bit unbalanced to communicate. Yeah, because they may be um, going through some healing themselves. All right. But they, yeah, they've got, they, they, they're not the greatest of communicators. So if you have cut yourself off of experiencing love because of something that you have gone through, OK, nothing was wasted. You're being guided to open yourself back up to love, connect with your heart. There is somebody around you or this person. Um, it's there, there's there's a magnetism. There's a pull between you. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. Whoever you are connecting with or whoever is around you, they are thinking about you. They are. Um, you are in their heart, you are in their mind, they don't want to let go, this person is very, very drawn to you, um, with the ace of uh, cups, um, if this is um, a past connection, it could be somebody that wants to reconcile, the ace of cups is a new beginning, okay, a new beginning in love, um, whoever this person is around you, okay, or, or a current person, or a past person, whatever your human experience with this person is on a soul level this is this magnetism the ace of cups the two of you love each other unconditionally your souls recognize each other and that for them is what is perhaps making them a little bit nervous unbalanced because they feel this pull towards you with the nine of cups that you are their wish fulfillment their happiness it's like the love that they have for you is absolutely overflowing you're very precious to them yeah very very precious and it almost feels as if that what's make that's what makes them very nervous notice the nine cups and the ace cups it's like you are their tenth cup and the four of um the four of cups in reverse so this person um this that's okay face up this person is thinking about you dreaming wishing hoping praying okay in reverse either this person realizes that either you've cut them out or you've pulled back your energy or you've experienced um not a very good um experience when it comes to love or you're just getting out of a relationship right so they see that you are not open yeah you have cut out love you have cut out the possibility of um entering into a relationship um so with the four of cups in reverse this is um them recognizing either you have separated yourself from the prospect of love or if this is an existing relationship, you have separated yourself from them. OK, um, it could also represent the four of cups could also represent this person sees you as a little bit withdrawn, um, maybe a bit isolated, maybe even a little bit depressed. OK, that's why you're being guided to open back up to love. It goes back to that imagination of what you are thinking in your mind. Slow yourself down. Reflect of what you are thinking about. And it's like you're being guided to change that thinking. Whatever you're imagining, dreaming in your mind. Um, it's like you're focusing on the negative. Let it go. Um, you can create and imagine and dream of something new, of something better that actually is really endless and bountiful. Yeah, look at that, the tower. So many of you uh, uh, that I'm reading for, either you have um, gone through something that really 
uh, brought your world crashing down. Hence why you may have cut out the prospect of love. Um, you may even be pulled back because you can't see this person that is around you. Isolated, depressed, not open to love, cutting love out. It's like you just won't even entertain it now. That King of Cups could definitely be your energy. You're turning your back on love. You're not seeing there's somebody that is that that is drawn to you that your soul recognizes. Let's clarify. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Yeah, look at that. You're still. So that King of Cups is letting me know that that King of Cups is your energy. So you're coming up just for clarity as the Queen of Swords and the King of Cups, whether you are male or female. You've definitely turned your back on love. I also read that this King of Cups is um, a secondary um, message that this person is somebody that's already kind of in your spirit, in your energy space. So it's definitely somebody that's around you. Or it's somebody that you know that the connection didn't quite take off. You may be trying to release that person. You're being guided to reflect because with the Hermit card right here, it's like you're being guided, like, rethink, rethink that. Make wise choices because the light is shining towards this person. But right now, you're spiritually still. It's like if somebody had to come and approach you about love, you'd be just like, huh, I'm not even going there. That is what you're, that's the energy that you're being guided to put some boundaries on. Recognize it and release it and dream something different. Yeah, the king of coins. Um, again, I read it two ways. Uh, the king of coins could be your energy, um, that you are solid, you are grounded, you're ready for something, you're ready for a serious relationship. You may not feel like it right now, okay? Um, but it also could represent that that kind of king of coins is this person trying to release somebody that is actually ready for long term commitment that does love you, but you're not seeing it right now. Let's continue. Thank you. Oh, and my goodness gracious. Well, whoever this person is, they are your divine counterpart. They are your twin flame. Can't make it up. Cannot make it up. It's almost as if this per person, whoever you're connecting with, whether it's new or whether it's existing, um, it's like they're in your energy space. They're in your subconscious. For some of you, you might not have a, a really a brilliant opinion of this person, if you know them. But there's a magnetism between the two of you, and it's because they are your divine counterpart. And it almost feels as if you are being guided, whichever energy you fall into... OK, I feel that the queen of coins might be their energy. You're coming in as the king of coins again, male or female. It's like the divine is, is shining a light. Make wise choices when it comes to this person. Because they are your divine counterpart. Wow. OK, that's a lot of cards. I'm it see what's come out here yeah look at that you it's almost as if you haven't really got i mean this is your major arcana it's almost as if you haven't got really good you haven't how can i you're not thinking positive about this person it's somebody you know it's somebody you know it could even be for some of you it's this person that brought down your world yeah, many of you, you might be thinking of cutting this person out or you've cut them out already, not even going there again. You're being guided that nothing was wasted. What you're thinking about this person or what you're thinking about love in general is toxic. It's not serving your higher self. You're being guided to look at that and make different choices with what you're thinking. Look at the deep, look, look at that. The eight of coins, you're being guided to really look at the detail of what you're thinking about love or what you're thinking about this person. Many of you, you um, 
you're being guided with the two of swords here you might want to say something to this person if you know this person or you are being guided to tell yourself a different story but you can't see you can't see how to come out of this low vibrational energy you're being guided to balance out your thinking Take whatever it is that's in your mind when it comes to love or when it comes to a specific person and change it up. Because right now it's kind of toxic. It's not serving you. Wow, there's a lot of cards that are coming in. And then what's this one? Ah, uh, look. We've got Libra, Capricorn, we've got Virgo, we have, um, and now we've got uh, Scorpio. So it feels as if whoever you're connecting with, either they might, might be younger than you, all right, or they may be uh, young on their spiritual journey, all right, um, they've gone through a transformation and I feel as if you by telling yourself a different story about this person you can transform how you see them or how you see love okay uh, I feel that this person wants to come towards you with um a light-hearted energy, a flirtatious energy, but they are nervous because they can see that you have withdrawn or you are um, a little bit isolated or a little bit depressed. Many of you, you might have tried to, like I say, release this person because they've upset you. But you're still thinking about this person and it feels as if subconsciously it's because there's this magnetism between the two of you. Many of you, some of you may want to talk to this person, but don't know how to initiate it. If it's a, a new person or you've come out of something, many of you, it's like you're being guided to talk to yourself of what you're thinking and dreaming about love. It's time for a transformation. Yeah, a rebirth. And that is what Divine Spirit Universe is saying. It's time for you to make wise choices because with that devil card, you're in a low vibrational energy and that is what you... It's like your shadow self. Your shadow self is really, um, really taking a foothold in your light, in your heart space. And you're being guided that you, there's a rebirth, there's a transformation, a transformation of your thinking, a transformation of your dreaming and imagining about love in general, about a specific person. It's time to change it. Remember what I said is turn that frown upside down. If you can do that and change your thinking and imagine and dream bigger of what it is you want to co-create with Divine Spirit Universe, slow down, breathe, take some time in nature. Um, the miracles are endless. There's a rebirth. There's a complete turnaround. But you have to be able to be open to receive it, basically, Capricorns, by taking that leap of faith. That's where you're going to really achieve abundance miracles because you have achieved a lot already and look at that the dark side don't hide yourself away i can't even make it up at the moment you're sitting in a really low vibrational energy your shadow self and you're being a divine spirit universe is shining a light on that and saying look we've got faith in you that you can overcome this so let your light shine by you connecting with your heart space. Let it shine on whatever this shadow energy is so that you can recalibrate. You can take a different course. That's where your transformation comes in. That is where your transformation and rebirth about love will come in about a specific person. For many of you, it, the miracle is unbelievable. It's endless. But you have to want it. You have to dream it. You have to co-create. And then radiate. Let your light shine through. Look at, look at how the cards are coming out. 
Don't hide yourself away. This is your shadow self. This is your light self. Radiate. Let your light shine through. The Hermit card, the light is shining. If you have turned your back towards love in general, you're being guided to make a different choice, wiser choices. You can do it. The light in you is greater than your shadow self. And look at what, look at, look at this. Manifest and attract. Manifest, look, dream deep and ask for what you want. Attract, like the moon and the ocean, you attract good things into your life. Look, Capricorns, I cannot make up this reading, even if I tried. Bottom line is, right now, your mind is doing somersaults with you and you're being guided to just get out of that energy, right? And just shine a light on what you're thinking and what's in your heart space. Connect with your heart space. Manifest what you want, yeah? So that you can attract miracles, endless abundance. Because right now you're in this low vibrational energy. That's why you're being guided to slow things down. Slow things down. Recognize what is going on in your own heart um, headspace. What are you thinking? What are you dreaming? What are your thoughts about love? What are your thoughts about this specific, specific person? If it's negative and low vibrational, guess what? That is what you're attracting in. That is what you're being guided to make a different choice so that you can transform your thinking. You can transform your thoughts about love. You can transform your thinking about this person. Time for you to shine your light, okay? For for you and um, for what Divine Spirit Universe wants to bless you with when it comes to love. All right, I'm going to leave that there for you, Capricorns. If it resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye-bye.